Hello children. Good morning to everyone. Today we are going to learn English subject. In English, the first lesson you have is a story. I hope you all like the story very much. Right? Yes, children like the story very much. The first story we are going to learn is about the little duckling. So the topic is the little duckling. What do you mean by duckling? We all give name for the younger one of each animal. Right? Yes. For example, we call a younger one of cow as calf. And the younger one of lion as cub. Like that, the duckling is the younger one of duck. Look at this picture. This is the duckling. This is the younger one of duck. We call it as duckling or ducky. Okay. We are going to listen to a story about this duckling. One day, this duckling was going for a swim. Okay. She was going for a swim by walk. She was walking and going for a swim. On her way, she met some animals. And we are going to listen to the story about what whom, whom and all she met and how she felt. Okay. The first person she met on her way is a sparrow. So, the ducky met a sparrow on her way. That sparrow was sitting up on that tree. Are you all looking at the picture? Yes, a sparrow was sitting on the tree. So the ducky looked up the tree and was talking to that sparrow. What she said? The ducky said, I wish I could sit up there. Which means ducky also want to sit up on that tree like sparrow. Then the sparrow said, Oh, you need a strong feet like me. Do you have a strong feet like me? You all know that all birds sit on the tree. How? They have a strong feet. Because of that strong feet only, they were able to hold the branches of the tree and stand up on that tree. So, the sparrow is asking to the ducky, do you have a strong feet like me? So, we will see what the ducky's response. Ducky looked down at her feet and said, oh, I cannot sit on the tree because the ducky doesn't have a strong feet like sparrow so she felt very sad she felt very sad and said oh sad i cannot sit on the tree like you so she moved from that place then ducky walked on she came to an open field there ducky met a rabbit the rabbit was what what rabbit do the rabbit will be hopping all the way Yes, the rabbit was hopping on the field. Like, look at this picture. Hoppity, hop, hop. Like that, rabbit was hopping on the field. By looking at that rabbit, the ducky felt, I wish I could hop like you. So, the ducky said to the rabbit, I wish I could hop like you. I also want to hop. Then the rabbit said, you need long feet to hop. I have a long feet. Do you have a long feet like me? The rabbit asked to the ducky. Then the ducky said, by looking at her feet, No, my feet are very short. I cannot hop like you. She felt very bad and very sad. Why? Ducky doesn't have a long feet like rabbit. So she felt very sad. I cannot Hop like you. Then Ducky moved from that place. Then Ducky walked on. Ducky reached a farm. What do you mean by farm? Have you all seen a farm? The farm is nothing but there will be so many chickens and hen will be grown in that place. So the Ducky reached the farm. 
there she met a hen she saw the uh, hen is scratching the ground for worms why have you all seen a hen scratching for worms yes they will be scratching the ground for worms and they eat that worms so when the ducky looked at that hen she said i wish i could also scratch for worms so the ducky also want to scratch the ground for worms then the hen said i use sharp claws to scratch the ground for worms so the hen has sharp claws have you all ever seen the feet of a hen it, the hen the hen's feet will be so sharp the long nails and it will be so sharp to scratch the ground so the hen said i have a sharp claws so the hen asked ducky do you have a sharp claws like me to scratch the ground for worms then the ducky looked down at her feet the same thing she did when she met the rabbit and the sparrow she looked down at her feet and she felt so sad why she doesn't have a sharp claws like hen then she said no i don't have sharp claws like you i cannot scratch for worms she felt so sad and she and then she moved from that place she walked off where she is going the beginning of the story i told you one day the ducky was going for a swim on her way only she met the three persons yes now she reached the pond then there the ducky saw her mom her mom was swimming in the pond then looking at the mom she was very happy and she said i wish i could swim like you mom 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 i also want to swim like you mom then mama duck was telling come on baby get inside and try out the swimming and she was very happy and she the ducky jumped into the pond and she started to swim so what is the sound of the duck what the what sound it makes you all know right quack quack yes what uh, kind of uh, sound the hen makes cluck cluck yes like that the ducky makes sound quack quack wow this is so fun my flat feet are so good to swim in the pond because she doesn't have a strong feet like sparrow long feet like rabbit or short claws like hen but she has a flat feet to swim in the pond so now she is so happy about the feet she has while swimming in the pond the ducky is telling a sparrow cannot swim but i can swim a rabbit cannot swim but i can swim a hen cannot swim but i can swim so i like my feet very much quack quack so the ducky was so happy about the type of feet she has now she is not feeling so sad about she that uh, she doesn't able to uh, stand on the tree or is not able to hop like rabbit or is not able to scratch for worms like a hen now she is happy with her feet so what is the moral of the story which means what is the lesson for us from this story the lesson is we should be happy with what we have we all have different abilities to come up in the life so we should be happy with whatever we have okay have you all understood the story i hope you all understood the story next we'll move on to the question answer session answer the following the first question is where was ducky going you all know the answer where was ducky going the ducky was going for a swim yes the ducky was going for a swim next question second question is what was the rabbit doing you all know the answer what was the rabbit doing on the field yes you are correct the rabbit was hopping on the 
field you are correct third question where was the hen the ducky um, was walking and going no where she met the hen yes the hen was in the farm you are correct the hen was in the farm fourth question what was mama duck doing which means the duckies mom what she was doing mama duck was swimming in the pond yes what was mama duck doing mama duck was swimming in the pond you are correct fifth question name three animals ducky met on the way to the pond it means you have to answer what are the animals ducky met on her way to the pond can you answer you all know yes the ducky met a sparrow a rabbit and a hen on her way to the pond you all know the answer right yes i think you have understood the story and you like the story very much you have all answered correctly i think and now we'll move on to the next exercise this is who said these to whom you could have learned these type of exercise in your uh, first standard right yes they will give you a sentence and we must find out these sentences said by whom to whom so the first one is you need a strong feet like mine who said these words yes you are correct you need a strong feet like mine said by a sparrow to ducky you are correct the sentence is said by sparrow to ducky second we'll move on to the assignment session okay the assignment will be uh, what i taught you now who said these to whom so the first one i have done for you you need strong feet like mine it is said by sparrow to ducky the second one is i wish i could hop like you so you have to find out the answer third one do you have short claws so who said these words so you must find out these answers and submit go through the lesson once again and find out the answer next there is another assignment for you write the opposites you got to learn opposite words in your first standard first is big second is up third one stand fourth one weak fifth one short sixth one bad for example what is the opposite word of a big what do you mean by big big is so big right what is the opposite word small it is a small word so opposite word of a big is small yes you have to find out the other words which means up stand weak short bad so find out the answer for all these words opposite words so and submit it to me okay so i hope you all understood the lesson and the story and you liked it very much and go through the lesson once again and understand completely and learn the question answer and the opposites okay we'll meet in the next session thank you